Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today I want to show you how we make an indoor deep water culture system. And we're going to be using some few items here. So I'm going to hang this 4 foot grow light underneath this lower level here. And I'm going to use zip ties to secure it. This way it's nice and strong and it doesn't move around too much. And I want to hang it up basically to the very top of, or as much as tight as I can make it. This way I have as much grow space as I can to grow. And I'm going to be using a 5 gallon bucket for this example. We're going to be using two buckets. We're going to plant out two plants. And let's pop in basically this tube over here that's going to show what the water level is and how much water and solution is left. We got to pop in an air stone in there and with some air tubing and we're going to connect that to the air pump. So let's just run the tubing through on the inside of the container. This way it's nice and clean on the outside. And we can kind of hide the tubing once it gets a little bit all set up later I'll show you guys so let's put the container on top it's gonna be a six inch opening and I got basically about 14 to 16 inches of grow space in between the lights and the top of the containers so you see it's almost set up that's basically what it's gonna look like we just gotta fill in the water and the nutrients and everything like that and I indicated basically what the water level is gonna be this way I have uh, indication lines for one one uh, one gallon two gallons three gallons and it leaves me some space for air roots to grow still at the bottom of the net cup. And we're gonna be using clay pebbles to fill it on the inside for the grow media. And you wanna make sure to give the clay pebbles a nice good rinse and give it a nice wash, because they're definitely gonna be dirty. Let's turn on the lights and see what the setup is kinda of looking like before we're done. And looking really good. I even have space for another two or three more five gallon buckets underneath here And you see I got my indication lines there for my three gallons on both sides So that's the air pump that I'm using I have four more connection ports that I can use So I'm gonna be using two right now, and I have two more for later And we're gonna plant out a cucumber plant as well as a tomato plant both of which are going to be self-pollinating plants and I'm not going to have to do much besides come in and just harvest whatever is available there. So this is a mini bell tomato plant. And I've yet to harvest uh, fruits off of that, off of the mini bell. Really excited to see what it looks like. So being that it's in the deep water culture system, I'm expecting a really good harvest off of both of these plants. And you could sort of expect to get like double the yield as opposed to if you're just growing like in soil or in just like a typical Kratky method. So the cucumber plant is looking nice and healthy. Look at this beautiful lush green color. And the darker green is indication for older leaves. The lighter greens are the new ones that just came up. And when you look in the center of the, can of the plant, you could see there's a ton of new growth that's beginning to come on and there's even little flowers that are beginning to, to, to grow. So it's definitely time to give this plant a nice larger home to grow in and flourish. So I think this five gallon bucket will be perfect for both this tomato and cucumber plant. And look at the center of that looking beautiful. I see two flowers already forming. And tomato plant, there's no flowers yet, but it is looking really good. And this is a dwarf sized tomato plant, so it's not going to get too large. But since it is in a deep water culture bucket, I expect it to be a little bit larger than usual. And I'm hoping to get a really good harvest off of this plant, guys. So things are looking really good. I'm just kind of like transplant these and get it going. So let's get it. Let's get ready. We're basically going to take our container here. And I cleaned it out, make sure it's nice and washed. And the bottom, these are grow buckets, so these are specially made for growing um, fruits and vegetables and any plants. This way it's nice, it's safe plastic. You want to make sure to look at the bottom of your container, see what it says there. Um, I believe anything like a 2, a 3, or a 5 is pretty safe to use. But definitely do your own research and double check. And so this tomato plant is looking good, now let's start with that. Uh, we're going to need some clay pebbles to basically fill in this 6 inch net opening. And you can see they're already pre-rinsed and washed. They look completely different color when they're saturated. And they retain water for a really long time which is really good too. 
And look at this beautiful looking healthy white system, uh, right, white root system on the tomato plant. Looking absolutely great, guys. This is a good stage to start the tomato plant since it's nice and young. And it didn't really have time to get like, um, to get set into its, its growth space. It's really gonna flourish, I think, in this deep water culture bucket. And the leaves are looking really good. So now I just want to basically run the root system, hopefully a little bit through the bottom of the neck cup to kind of give it a little bit of a boost. And this way you don't want to just drown out the roots completely with the clay pebbles. You may damage them. So you see it pokes out right there at the bottom, just a, about an inch or two, which is perfect. And now I'm basically going to fill in the container. And you want to be really careful in the beginning this way you don't want to damage the root too much the root system I mean and now that that's in there we'll just kind of fill it up and position the plant where we want now before you completely pack it in make sure you position the plant in there and I didn't want to damage the root system and rip it out of the of the neck cup there so I just kind of left the neck cup inside and I planted the whole thing together it should grow well together so you see I'm almost done packing uh, packing it in there. And there we go, look at this beautiful looking tomato plant. Almost ready to go in for a deep water culture bucket. We got it ready for it underneath, it's, in, it's inside its, own, its new home. Uh, we're gonna throw it underneath those grow lights. Those are again five foot, um, I mean five foot, four foot T5 grow lights. And it should be really good grow guys. You can see the root system there is poking on the bottom. Let me try to flip it around a little bit just to show you guys a little bit. You can see right there. Unfortunately, I can't flip it completely. All the clay pebbles are going to fall out. But that was a pretty good transplant. I don't think I damaged any roots during that. And it looks really good, guys. So let's put that on the side. And we're going to have to do the same thing for the cucumber plant. And this is also a self-pollinating cucumber plant, which is fantastic. I love plants like that where I could just come in and come in and harvest and just kind of reap the benefits without having to do much of the work. And look at this absolutely beautiful white looking root system, super looking, super healthy, no algae growth at all, very, very healthy roots. And overall, I'm really happy with this cucumber plant. I think this was a good two plants to start with in the deep water culture buckets. I'm definitely going to be adding more. Look at the inside growth, guys. It looks so beautiful. Oh, that's nice. It's nice and compact, so it's definitely going to put on a lot of... Um, this, this is going to be a runner, so it's going to climb all over the place. I've yet to decide how I'm going to grow this, if I'm going to use a trellis, or I might even just let it grow wild all over the, the floor right there, so we'll see. So let's get the bucket ready. and just kind of clean up a little bit. And same thing, I basically want to run the root system through the bottom of the neck up there. And since it is a six inch opening, it's pretty pretty good size and it, you know, it makes it nice and easy for you to get things through and get your hands in there. So let's see if we could pull the root system up. And almost. Now be careful guys, there's no need to rush. And you don't need to pull the whole thing through, just like enough to just kind of give it a little bit of a head, you know, a little boost. So same thing, let's fill it in and position the plant in place. Now the leaves are so large, I got to kind of lift it up. And you want to be careful when you're doing that, you don't want to rip the leaves. Just kind of hold them carefully, as like I am here, and fill it in. Now the clay pebbles are going to hold the plant in place. When it grows, it's going to have a nice firm base to start with and a good home to basically to, to grow in. So look at that beautiful looking cucumber plant and its new home. We're almost ready to go guys. I'm really happy with, with what we got going so far. So stay along with me, we're almost done. Let's look at the root system here at the bottom, looking beautiful. We're gonna have to fill in these buckets, but just look at how beautiful this plant looks guys. I love it. So now it's fill in the bucket. We got three gallons in there. And we're gonna be using Maxi Grow. 
I'm going to use basically um, one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon per gallon. So we got three gallons basically. So that's three teaspoons. That's one, two, and three scoops there. And I'm going to put in the air stone right there just to mix it all up, plug it into the air pump and mix it in the lazy way. I don't, I don't want to have to sit there and mix it up. So let's plug it in, come back in a couple minutes and it should be all mixed up, ready to go. So we put our plant right there on top in its new home with the solution already pre-mixed and look at that guys. Happy little cucumber plant, looks great. Only thing I want to do is check the PPM and see how much nutrients are in this thing right now. So you're not going to be able to see if I just dunk the, the meter inside so I'm just going to take a little cup and scoop a little bit of the solution out. And just to kind of give it a little test and this way you guys could see what the number is. And this is the first time I'm really using Maxi Grow. I haven't had much experience with it. So let's see how it goes for the for the growth of this plant. And what do we got here guys? We got just over uh, just over a thousand thirty something like that. So that's really good. Yeah, really good guys. Over a thousand. That's that's great. I think for especially for the flowering stage. So let's see if that's going to be enough. And we're going to definitely have to top it off here and there. So you want to monitor the water level and check the PPM every and the pH ever so often too. And as the plant, you know, keeps on growing and taking up nutrients, it's going to basically uh, make the make the solution inside the container much more concentrated and you're going to have to top it off with a little bit of fr uh, fresh water. We'll discuss that in another video. So let's do the same thing for the second container and get that ready for the tomato plant. Same thing, three gallons, so we're using three teaspoons. And let's run the wire through and plug that into the air pump and let the air stone do the work for us. And give it about five minutes, ten minutes. And look at that guys, we got two beautiful looking plants right there, we'll just clean everything up. And I could not be more excited to show you guys my new deep water culture system. I got my tomato plant right here on the left and a cucumber plant right here on the right. Both plants are looking so healthy and very happy. I'm sure they're gonna love their new home and love to have that extra boost of oxygen from the air stones and have plenty of space for the roots to grow so let's keep the growth going guys stay with me and we'll keep progress going i'm gonna do probably weekly updates and we may even add plants into the system here as things germinate i got a couple more tomato plants that i'm waiting to germinate we got three other types of variations of tomato plants to grow and things are looking really good guys Let's check it out right here. Let's take a look at what the root system looks like when it's all on. Look at that. Beautiful. Everything is working well. The air stones are working well. The pump is running properly. I don't see any leaks. And things look like they're going so we're definitely going to be having a lot of new growth coming soon and you guys could expect some major major updates coming if you guys liked the episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up as always leave messages or comments down below that always helps me out greatly and i always do my best to try to respond to you guys and let's just kind of take a close look at what the plants look like and what the system looks like look at this guys I have plenty of space here to add more plants. Like I mentioned, I could probably add another two or three more five gallon buckets. I have two more spots in the air pump. And things are looking good. We got two beautiful looking healthy plants right there. So today is basically the first day of setting this up. We're going to be back in like about a week. I'll show you guys just how fast things grow. 
and how quickly this system is going and just how f how much these plants love this new system guys so hopefully maxi grow does well for me tomato plant looks a little bit sad right now it went through a little bit of a shock but i'll show you guys at the end of the video just what it looks like even just from the next morning i recorded a small little clip of what the tomato plant looked like the next morning and it looks super healthy guys both tomato plant and cucumber plant look good and are happy in their new home look at the inside right there we got little flowers forming hopefully that's our first cucumber right there beautiful looking plants as always guys if you liked the episode please don't forget to hit that thumbs up as always, don't forget to post any messages or comments down below. I'll always do my best to respond. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back soon for more.